So we're back for the second half with four changes made in the rest of the world team. Soskic has come on in goal instead of the fabulous Yashin. Isaguiri of Chile has come on at right back. Baxter of Scotland has come on at left half. And Pushkas has come on at number 10 inside left. And Di Stefano quite sensibly has been left on the field. So England have made no changes at all. No score. And now Pushkas. Everybody waiting to see whether you can get him one of those dynamic shots of his. Now Copa to Law. Notice how the players screen the ball with the body when a man comes to tackle them. Deflected off Easter, and it's Mora gets it away now to Charlton. Now Greaves. It's a bad one from Greaves, but nevertheless, it's still pain with it. Big difference in style to these two teams. England really taking this match seriously, had more shots of goal, but the rest of the world is trying to give an exhibition of footwork. Throw to England. Pain taking it. But it's a lovely one to Charlton, and now up goes Smith. And now Greaves, and it's off the line by little Isaac Guerri, the Chilean right back. East him, and there'll be a corner if it goes. Yes, Isaac Guerri can't stop it. Well, so the rest of the world have had a lucky letter let off in the first minute of each half. Charlton with the corner. England's throw. Wilson to Easter. Now here's Azaguiri, the 24-year-old Chilean. He's in the team that finished third in the 1962 World Cup. Now Jim Baxter, the Scot, to Di Stefano. Notice again how he's using his body to fend off any challenge. Now Pushkas moving in the middle, but instead it goes out to Hento. I think even the crowd want to see Pushkas have a crack at goal. Now again, Hento has been rather disappointing today. The ball too much on his right foot. And with Hento, the right foot is most definitely the wrong one. Now it's Greaves. He's got Smith with him. He's moving forward for the return. That's Greaves. Brought down by Puskal. Both players shaking hands in the true sporting spirit of the game. Strange sight. Pushkas going back into the defence. That's pain from the free kick beaten by Schnellinger. Baxter back to Schnellinger. Stefano. Can Law reach it? Yes, to Isaguiri. It's Pushkas close to him. Here's Pushkas. Famous Hungarian international. Then 1956 moved to Spain. Hento and Baxter getting in each other's way. So it's pain finding Greaves. Oh, what about a shot, Greaves? Laying it too long. Quick covering them. Defenders. That's Charlton. Milne to Charlton. Maybe it's Milne to Greaves. Can he get through? But again, there's quick tackling and he's getting his popular high. Now Puskal to Copa. There's Puskas close to him. Where across to Jim Baxter, who always plays with his shirt outside his pants. No matter where he plays. Baxter to Pushkas. Well, it's the left foot we've got to watch for. And Cooper a bit slow off the mark. Pushkas already telling, telling his colleagues where they should have been going to make that telling pass. Charlton to Greaves. Here comes Bobby Charlton, great favourite with the England fans. That's a nice centre. Oh, and Suskis almost in trouble. Suskich finding Di Stefano with his clearance. Now 
although Pushkas is on the program now at inside left. He plays the orthodox centre forward game. He's the real striker. Up comes Isaguiri. Isaguiri now to Stefano. Great shot of come on, two of you for Bobby Moore, but it's Isaac Weary coming through. And Pushkas trying to move on to that one to flick it into the net. As that old Chilean won't be shaken off the ball. It's Law and Moore having to make the best shot of the half that has gone towards Banks. Charlton again. That's Jim Baxter. Jim Baxter, this controversial Scottish player. Picked for this team, but dropped by Scotland for their last international match. Now, here he comes. Roly-poly Pushkas, the man we've got to fear. But more caring nothing for his reputation. Uh, Law. Law to Di Stefano. To Copa. Oh, what was a carelessly made one from Copa. Enough power behind it. It's a Charlton to raise back to Payne. It's the typical English pass. A crossfield one to a strong runner like Charlton. Lovely ball. Oh, Smith coming from behind Puskar there. Nice moon to Charlton. Uh, come back to meet Smith to a good old fashioned British shoulder charge, but. Neither of them were playing the ball, and you can only charge a man uh, if you or he are playing the ball. The ball wasn't even within playing distance when the charge came. Di Stefano. Law moving forward. Then out to Hento. And Dennis Law again. The rest of the world team almost like a theatrical exhibition of the arts and crafts of football. Baxter to his fellow Scott Law. Now here comes Isaac Weary again. And Norman getting it clear. Isaac Weary already got into the game a lot. And he's done some fine work too. Baxter. Baxter's got happy memories of Wembley. He's got scored two goals for Scotland here last April against England. Agree. to Smith. Oh, lovely return pass. And Breeze is going to get it. He scored. And quickly, no goal. The referee has flown for a free kick. No goal. And listen to the crowd. going at Wembley, but the referee had blown for the foul on Greaves before Greaves recovered, and once he's blown, he can't take it back. Well, of course, the crowd are disappointed that a goal has been rubbed out for England, but there's nothing else the referee could do as he saw Greaves stumble and fall. How was he to know Greaves was going to get up? something to argue about in the clubs and the pubs tonight. Ah, here comes Law. Oh, that's a bad one from Dennis Law. Very unlike him. Oh, the crowd are even more behind England than ever. And rarely do we hear a Wembley crowd cheering England on like this. Now it's pain. Pain, a very clever player, even though he plays for second division club, Southampton. Oh! That's a glorious warm up push goal there. Now Milne and it's Baxter getting it clear. But now more and the pressure back on the rest of the world. Charlton. Greaves and Dennis Law beating him. Now Easton. And the calm, cool Alfredo Di Stefano. Argentinian by birth. 
Now playing for Real Madrid. Puskas are penalized for obstruction. But that is a thing which goes on on the continent. He was screening the ball with his body. There's a free kick to England and it's Milne. Milne out to Payne. Soskic out to Isaac Weary. I've been playing ten minutes of the second half. No score. It's De Stefano. Puskas moving on to the right wing. A strange position for him. by Pluskal. Sensible pass by Law to Copa. There's a query. Once again, we still have this severe language difficulty between these rest of the world players who, of course, have never played together before in their lives. But at least in the forward line at the moment, we have got three Real Madrid players, Di Stefano, Puskas and Hento. Now it's Law, Puskas moving into the middle. Oh, he wanted the ball pushed through to him then. No. Di Stefano. Armfield, quick clear, Puskas. Guard here, remember Puskas for that fabulous display he gave for Hungary against England ten years ago. Now it's a mill out to pain and England coming back. Suddenly playing his best game for England. Uh, Easter. And now Smith, but beaten by Poploha. The world defense still very cool under pressure. That's Armfield. Well, they certainly proved their goalkeepers great continent. We already had Yashin of Russia playing like a man inspired and now Soskic of Yugoslavia. A Baxter to Pushkas. Inmus Hinto. Eyes ah, covered so that's why Pushkas held on to the ball. Snellinger could see it coming all the way. Throw to England. Oh, Mill. Oh, a lovely ball to Greaves. Straight to his feet, notice. Smith should have moved out of the way then. Oh, indecision there between Snellinger and Poploha. Now, Pushkas, and away he goes. Fabulous player, 37 years of age and 87 caps. Some of Pushkas's caps, most of them, of course, for Hungary, but some of them for Spain. And Sela is coming on. Copa, I think, will go off. Riera is signaling Copa to come off the field, and Sela of West Germany is going on. Now, it's Easton. To Graves and again the foot of Pushka. Now Sila is a dynamic centre forward. He's 26. So we've seen all the 16 rest of the world players. Uh, Hento and here's Sila in action straight away. We Hento and more with fine tackle of his. Normally in 
competitive football. There are no substitutes of friendly internationals. Oh, it's a beautiful pass out of Sela. Out of Baxter. Out to Stefano. Pushkas not as dangerous on the right wing. In friendly internationals, normally a goalkeeper can be changed any time if he's injured. And one other player up to the 44th minute. But this is a special game. That's up with Milne. Now to Green. Smith. England's throw. Right with Mill. Now oh, Greaves. Baxter there for the rest of the world. Sealer. Back to Law. Sealer is essentially a striker. Law to his fellow Scott, Baxter, and back again. Up to Schnellinger, to Hento. Not really seen him at top speed yet. I hope you're watching him very carefully, because I'm feeling it's very fast as well. Oh, Baxter, that's the return pass that Hento wants, and there's Milne with him. Having anticipated that move, the throw to Baxter. Schnellinger to, to Law. Oh, I thought for a moment that Benz was going to let it go. Then he seemed to change his mind. He hadn't have done it, but it crept in by the far post. That's Charlton. Uh, this is Milne. Smith and giving him a push. Overreaching to the ball, obviously. Now Greaves going to take the free kick. Or is it Mel? Now Greaves. And it's out with Charlton. No one east of and Lord didn't know where the ball was then. And he hit them like that. Now Mill. Stefano back and notice how he brings the ball under control immediately. Span is a real footballing artist. Law. Now, Hento. Pushkas. Again, the sliding tackle, which they don't like. Oh, Baxter to Isaguiri. Always moves up in support of his forwards. Baxter. Oh, lovely one-two wall pass again. Ah, Sela. Ah, it's always trying to dribble through. Sela perhaps will do it because the West Germans play a very similar style of football to the English. Ah, it's England. 19 minutes of the second half gone. No score. Greaves. Now, oh, Charlton is taking it too far. A Baxter to Pushkas. Schnellinger now forward to Di Stefano. It's Pushkas and off goes Hento. He's got Sealer in the middle. That's all. Oh, he's on his right foot, which is no good. Now Milne pushing it up to Easton. Uh, Greaves. Again, notice there's no attempt to challenge in midfield. Because if you challenge there and you miss the tackle, then there's a gap in your defence. Uh, Milne moving up a lot in attack. Do you notice the inaccuracy that comes a long pass in front of a man, the delay before he can get it? by Schnellinger going 
over the wall, bringing Payne down. Uh, Payne is going to take the free kick. Stefano flicking it forward to Puskas. Laws up with Puskas, so to Sealer on the right wing. Ah, oh, that was telegraphed by Law. Easy for Moore to come into the interception. Now Milne, way across to Payne. And Smith. That's a lovely chip to Greaves. to 65 minutes. So England take the lead 1-0. Now then, how seriously do the rest of the world take that setback. We'll just have to wait and see. That's Hento calling for him. He's meant to go up, but that much too near the goalkeeper. No danger from centers like that. Now England really with their tails up. Charlton to Breeze. He's got Papa with him. Throw into England. Team manager of the um, rest of the world side, Riera, the Chilean, shouting instructions from the touchline. Eastham for England. Tripped by the Scotsman Baxter on the Englishman, Eastham. Out of Armfield. This goes to show, full back, shim, dry shots at goal. with Baxter. Baxter looking rather slow, moving to the ball. Now Greaves, who's he got in the middle? He's got Smith waiting at the far side, Charlton close to him. It's Charlton. And Schnellinger will tower that one. We have goal kick unless Payne can reach it. No, it's well over the line. kick to the rest of the world now. Isaguere to Baxter. Oh, that's a bad ball to Hento. Now Armfield, the English captain. An equally bad pass. Now, Law. Now across to Schnellinger, now to Hento. This is Baxter, who loves to come on the attack. He's essentially an attacking wing half. It's a bad one to eat, uh, to Law, but he made it a good one, and now Pushkas. To Law, a ah, bad return pass by Law. So away coming and now. And some lovely football breeze up there, waiting for it, but instead, out to the right wing, my pain. Di Stefano. Hento to Di Stefano and away goes this jet propel wingman. And look at Armfield catching him up. That's a lovely one. And Wilson. Oh no. Sealers. A pushkus. And it's Wilson again who comes across. But how slow Sealer was. One thing you might notice in the second half is that both. Stefano and Sela are wearing number nine. That was because Sela was 
originally intended to replace De Stefano after the half-time interval. Baxter. Uh, Hento didn't anticipate that move by De Stefano. Ah, it's way up with Charlton. To Greaves. Oh, Greaves. Smith. Oh, what a save by Suskic. England is Pluskal getting it clear. Now, Uwe Sieler. Back to Pluskal and now Di Stefano, the other man wearing number nine on this rest of the world side. Pushka's moving over to inside left. Back to Di Stefano. Now Law. Oh, Pushka's got him with a through one, but of course Law doesn't understand Pushka's moves. They've never played together before. Now Pushka's. Can he get it to his left foot? If he can, it can be dangerous. Across to Milne. Now Payne, and that's Smith going on to the right wing to help Payne. And back to Milne, but it's rather lucky that England retained possession then. Smith, a neat one back to Greaves. What about a long range shot, Jim? It's delayed it a little too long. Charlton to Easton, rather slow off the mark. Says Isaac Weary getting it up to Sealer. Now to Law. Sealer, Baxter, Stefano, cross to Hento, Hento, Baxter. Oh, Baxter, terribly inaccurate with that chip. A pain finding Charlton. It's a long one meant for Smith, but Poploha there now. Schnellinger to Law. The rest of the world don't seem to be worried about being one goal down. They're still strolling through the game, still content to give an exhibition of their footwork. Pushkas back to Isaac Weary. Hento. Mill. Um, Pushkas showing a little bad temper going in with his stud showing. Fielder Smith. Oh, the linesman. Um, I think the linesman made a mistake then and realized it because he seemed to change his decision as soon as he flagged Smith offside. So I don't think Smith was. So that's law. A shot and a goal kick. To Law, this could be the equalising goal. Yes, to Stefano, no! That's a lucky let off for England. So there's a corner to the rest of the world. Going to be taken by the right back, Isa Guerri. We don't often see that. What looked like hands. Well, the re reverie, fortunately, was behind um, Moore, so got away with it. That's Smith to Charlton. Maybe a crack from Bobby Charlton. Corner must have been deflected by Pushkal. to England. That's a nasty one, Smith. Brilliant effort by Bobby Smith. 
until yesterday was very doubtful for this game. He got injured playing for Tottenham Hotspur last Saturday and they say until yesterday it was doubtful whether he'd be fit enough in time to play in this game. Now it's more to Eastham. That's Sealer going into challenge, but notice how Eastham will turn his body so that Sealer can't see the ball. To Milne to the outside right, Payne. Pluska, but Eastham get, putting it back to Charlton. Maybe a go on the outside. No, he didn't, and he lost it, so it's now with Sealer. Oh, the long ball to Pushkas. No, it's a short one to Stefano. Up comes Baxter with Payne chasing him. Uh, law to Isaguerri. Oh, that's the first mistake he's made. Charlton to Moore. Now to Easton. Now Greaves. East him again. Greaves and Charlton in the middle. So too is Smith. Is Charlton. Oh, lovely one to Greaves. Oh, a fine move by England. A lovely move. And a fine save because that was moving that shot of Greaves. It's now Easter. And oh, Law should have taken that one. Milne to Payne. Getting the pressure on the rest of the world side. And Payne finding Easter very accurate with his cross field passes. football by England. Under 15 minutes left for play. England leading the rest of the world by one goal to nil. That's Hento. Pushkas is in, inside of him. Shattered all the time by Norman. As Pushkas couldn't turn quickly enough. Oh, and Norman's given away a corner. And Hento with the corner for the rest of the world. There's Pushkas and it's enough. No, it's a goal kick. Referee right on the spot. Now, Pushka will take it up for Law. Law now up to Sealer. Too high for Pushkas. Anyway, Pushkas was pushed. He's, oh, the England defenders are lucky to get away with that. That's Poplua. To, to Law. Again, that screening of the ball by the body. Law does it so well. It's Pluskal to Stefano Pluskal moving forward. You rarely see him move forward. He's purely defensive. Oh, Sealer. Should have brought it down, not flicking it up. There's to Greaves. Oh, it's too far forward for Bobby Smith. Oh, Law, lots of room in which to work. Ah. Not like Dennis Law to make a pass like that. But my what's about 11 or 12 minutes left for play. 1-0 England lead. Here they come on the attack again. It's Payne. Greaves is on the right wing. Here comes Greaves. Easily cut off by Baxter. Now up to Hento. Half he would half turn and was running back before Hento really let out the clutch, so to speak. Half feel a very, very experienced quarterback. Shaking up, but won't of course go into the tackle in a situation like this. So you're forcing backs, forcing Hento to play it back like that. Now Pushkas and out to Law, De Stefano. Ah, oh, no one's saying that. Now away you go, England. And it's 
Smith, Smith into Charlton. Up to Payne. And oh, that's a bad one from Payne. He's to, quite in the right position. Still getting it because there's no one there to challenge him. That's a nice clearance by Soskic. Yugoslav goalkeeper up to Sela. Now Pushkas. Law moving down the middle. Can Pushkas see him? Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Now Law surely will. Yes, he's equalised. A glorious goal scored by Dennis Law from that pass of Pushkas. And there's the Hungarian and the Scots embracing each other to celebrate this equalising goal. bit of play there's no answer to football of that class Pushkas timing his pass and Law taking up the right position and then remaining cool and calm when Banks came out so one goal each I don't think anybody's going to grumble if this celebration game does end in a draw now Mill Mill, a beautiful one out to Payne. Baxter hands a penalty. Oh! Well, Baxter's a lucky boy. Now, the law states that it must be intentional hands, and the referee, of course, is interpreting the rule as he sees it. Probably thought that that ball struck Baxter on the hand rather than Baxter played it. Where I'm sitting, you see that Baxter moved his hand to guide the ball. So, anyway, Baxter now inside to Pushkas. Uh, up comes Law. Fitting that Law should have got the goal for the rest of the world. He's played so well. Uh, Law to Baxter. Uh, Wilson has been playing so well. And notice how Moore ran to take up position to help Wilson to pass the ball and get his team out of a bit of trouble. Now he's to into Charlton. This is what Charlton likes. Dart down the middle and maybe a shot. Can Greaves get up? Well, there's one thing about Jimmy Greaves. He's a very, very fine footballer, one of the best in the world. But he admits himself that he's no good at heading a ball. This is Pushkas. Law coming up. On Pushkas' is right. Here's Law. Into Sela. Now Pushkas. Well, the crowd went ooh, but I'm certain that Banks must have called for that ball, otherwise, Arthur would never have taken the risk of letting it go. Now Charlton getting it from Easton. In comes Bain. And Schneller coming in with a good old fashioned English type tackle. Law finding Sealer. Di Stefano, Pushkas in the position he loves. I thought there might have been a through ball to Pushkas then. But Wilson watching Pushkas everywhere. Pushkas not standing still for one second. And in comes Hento. Well, a little bit of luck on England's side that time. Still, luck's gone the other way. And I think Armfield is hurt. He's running behind the line. Six minutes left, one each. Now Greaves. Oh, it's a beauty! Hit the bar. Or the post, I wouldn't like to say which. The England trainer now attending to Armfield is off the field. Now Pushkas. Here comes Hento. So we're going to miss Armfield now. Inga Sela and the goal kick. Well, this is certainly a match that neither team deserves to lose because both of them have played very fine football, both with different objects in view. England have tried to be more go-ahead and progressive than the rest of the world who 
really felt they had to come here and show off their individual skills. Now, Charlton. Oh, a lovely one. Oh, Suskitt, what a mistake. Made the score. when I say that neither side deserves to lose what happens a tragic mistake by Suskich I think the first goalkeeping error of the game dropping that ball from um, Charlton and Greaves able to get that easy goal to put England 2-1 in the lead with only five minutes left for play now Kento that's no use hitting push because you've got to hit the back of the net Feel I think he's suffering from cramp. The trainer is massaging his calf. That's Sealer to Baxter. Mm. Well, rebounds count. Now to Hento and his mill who's got to look after him. Notice three men there. Oh no! It's offside anyway. Offside. And Stefano. is going to hit its biggest ever roar when the final whistle goes if England are still in the lead. Here come the rest of the world again. Let's put to get the equaliser. And it's outside right against outside left and the outside right. Payne winning the duel. And overdo it, son. Well played. A push goal to Schnellinger. Oh, Smith and Law having a bit of Trouble with each other. <laughs> now they're all pals, but and Arfield is coming back again. And Schnellinger takes the free kick. Well, the crowd shouted hands. The linesman who could see it must have ruled accidental hands. And that's a good ball from Sealer to Baxter. No one coming close to him. Oh, De Stefano thought that Law was back there. Law darted through like a... Just like a hare. Now it's Payne. Final whistle will go in about a couple of minutes. Baxter to Law. Uh, Hento, now I wonder whether Arfield, though, he's limping, he's probably in pain with that cramp. Now, Pushkas. Neat anticipation by Easton, coming back to help his defence. And the crowd really rising to this England team. It's a fine performance to beat the star studied 11. Well, and there's the whistle, it's all over. England have won by. Two goals to one. Very sporting. 